So how's it going, folks? Uh, I thought I'd give you another little uh, update on the uh, Lee Su Lee Bear wheel loader kit build. Uh, I thought I'd give you a little update on the hydraulics there. Um, so just starting out, here's the hydraulic block. Give you a good view of that there. You got all three circuits, plus you're in and you're out, or maybe they're the other way around. Uh, looks like the valves are rotary valves, and it's kind of interesting the way they got this set up. Uh, let me see. So you have to trim up the servo horn, and here's a little before and after over here. So stock servo horns on the right, and I had to trim down the one on the left. And what you're going to do is once you have your servo horn trimmed down, you put down the uh, servo, get it all nice and centered up, and there's a little adapter. Get one of those dropped in, and just sits down there in the hydraulic block. And the servo sets down the adapter. And that's what actu <coughs> actuates your hydraulic circuits. Now, uh, the kit came with uh, five Tower Hobby servos. All right, I guess. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not feeling super confident about those. So... What I decided to do is pick up some Spectrum servos for the uh, valve block. Some little Spectrum sub-micros. These are actually meant for helis. And there it goes. If I can get back in focus there. Those are H3050 Spectrum servos. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and run those for the, uh, the hydraulic valve block. And then I think I'm going to save the little Tower Pro servos that came with the kit for the... Uh, the uh, shift servo and the diff lock. Uh, all right, so that's where I'm at now. Once I get this thing all built up and uh, bolted on, uh, I'll probably come back and give you a little closing shot of that. Uh, but for now, I think we're going to sign off. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, etc. Thanks.